Maybe a dog person? Maybe. Yeah. yeah. No. <sighs>
There's only four of them.
what's up? <laughs> so uh, day one, and it was a very wet day. <laughs> rained almost the actually yeah, rained almost the entire day. So, um, yeah, that uh, <laughs> as my first day, uh, that kind of wore me out. Um, I was completely soaked. Um, even with a rain jacket on and uh, Crocs because I hate having wet shoes so the Crocs were kind of like you know just uh, you know they don't absorb water obviously and um, yeah I was I was completely soaked through and uh, you know it's like making me cold and it was just like pouring you know it was like just pouring on you it's just you know after hours of that uh, <laughs> I started to get worn out <laughs> so Especially because it's like my least favorite condition and probably most people or a lot of people uh, wet and cold is not a uh, comfortable position especially when you're working outside and also um, like we were like m working with like you know styrofoam you know uh, stuff that had to be moved into the garbage and it was like kind of like wet and nasty and moldy and uh, one of the uh, one of the groups groups of on the one of the stacks of the uh, stuff and pallets uh, had a bunch of uh, wasps in it like wasp nest and they were buzzing around even in the rain like they're buzzing around so yeah I was like you know <laughs> I was really starting to get uh, yeah a little a uh, little worn out on the first day um, just my tolerance <laughs> for things was starting to get pretty low um, but luckily we ended the day early around two o'clock so eight eight o'clock to two o'clock with a one hour lunch break um so not too bad you know i've had uh you know basically got the entire rest of the evening and the night to myself and it finally stopped raining and hopefully the rain stays away tomorrow um let trying to let my gear dry out now uh, and uh yeah my phone my phone got wet i had you know i had all this stuff in my pockets i thought the rain jacket pocket would keep it dry but um there's a lot of moisture in my phone uh, luckily it's you know you can take it apart um, so I'm gonna try and disassemble it somewhat and uh, try and dry it out and uh, yeah there's even like moisture inside the camera lens so that's uh, yeah really making me nervous but um, yeah so uh, hopefully um, hopefully that phone is durable enough to withstand uh, you know I've got it in a rice drawer now but who knows um, if that'll work uh, it still it was working, you know, like the phone was working fine, but um, just having moisture inside the phone is not a good thing. So I'm really hoping uh, that I can just, you know, resolve, get all the moisture out, and uh, and uh, not wor have to worry about uh, fixing it. You know, I really hope because it's like my favorite, you know, it's my favorite phone. So <laughs> and uh, yeah. So other than that, um, yeah. So. Maybe today was the hardest day, because uh, <laughs> uh, hopefully every day is not like this. Because um, yeah, that was kind of that was kind of like starting to push me to my limits. Um, yeah. So, but yeah, it's a beautiful place, um, and yeah, it's uh, I've, you know I keep getting reminded of, reminded of places and past experiences, and this is starting to give me like kind of like a New Zealand uh, memory because. This is kind of like similar conditions, like the weather and the temperature and uh, just the scenery kind of, yeah, really reminds me of New Zealand in a lot of ways. So, yeah, so anyway, yeah, just uh, gonna walk around and uh, this is my first time seeing the farm, you know, during the daylight when it's not raining. So um, good conditions for filming it and actually enjoying it. <laughs> And uh, yeah, they've got a lot of different stuff to grow here and we'll see more of it tomorrow. So I'm gonna try and record as much as I can, even though I'm gonna be here um, for probably about four weeks. And um, definitely got, you know, uh, plans of moving on, um, you know, like to Japan or Indonesia or somewhere along those lines. I've got, now I've got the time to relax and really think about it. So um, yeah. And, uh, yeah, just get caught up on editing a bunch of video content for sure. Because <laughs> there is a lot. <laughs> so, stay tuned.
Here he is. Woody. Oh my goodness. It's a mini man. It's a mini man. Just wanted to add uh, that this GoPro was literally like the perfect thing to purchase uh, before starting a trip. Uh, it's been super handy, it's small, compact, does really nice. Uh, I shoot on the lowest quality, um, so, but yeah, so this is on standard 1080, uh, 30 frames per second. L, I guess, is linear, yeah, so that's what I'm shooting at now. Uh, GoPro 9, super, just, yeah, fantastic camera for my purposes. And I'm using the front-facing screen, which is perfect. Um, it is a little small, but it's high quality, so you can, you know, you can definitely make out what the shot looks like. And uh, yeah, so yeah, I'm really happy with this purchase. Um, the only issue I've had with the GoPro is that it started having an issue where you'd hit the record button and then it would stop recording instantly, and you do that sometimes two two and three times in a row occasionally it would do that you know that you know um so what i did is i and that this was i think during when the sd card was almost full uh, i think about 50 minutes left of recording time so it was yeah almost full and i unloaded the card copied everything off and then formatted the card and it seemed to resolve it for a while until i started adding uh adding more to the um, yes, until I started filling it up again. Um, so, but yeah, other than that, the camera's been great. I, uh, I dunked it underwater, um, just to test that. I was a little nervous about it, but yeah, it's totally fine. I noticed that the microphone does take a while to kind of like drain out, uh, if it goes underwater. And then as soon as you pull the camera back out, uh, into the air, it's really like the microphone doesn't do a great job of recording audio for probably, you know, a minute or two, um, which is okay. Um, it's, I'm more just happy that it can capture underwater shots and, uh, not break. <laughs> uh, so yeah, I've just been testing that out. Um, I did it in salt water, of course. And, um, yeah, it's fantastic. It's, I keep the, uh, I keep the camera lens nice and clean. It hasn't scratched or anything. Uh, I wipe it off, you know, even with my dirty, uh, even with my, uh, shirt, uh, shirt sleeve sometimes, even though I try to use a lens cloth and, uh, yeah, it's really durable, no scratches yet. Um, and one thing is that sand kind of like this camera basically got, you know, buried in sand, you know, it's like it, it got sand all over it. And, um, yeah, so there's probably sand in like the microphone or something or speaker or something. Um, there's sand all over the camera. Um, I cleaned it out as best I could, but um, I can see there's like sand, you know, within the uh, outer um, gaps around the lens. Um, you know, the, the outermost part, not anywhere within the lens. Um, you know, it's just more like the, you know, the gap between the housing. Um, it's not an issue. It doesn't affect the camera at all, but it's just like, you know, with the sand you know if you're going to use the camera just you know be careful with sand because it's going to get everywhere um and yeah even opening the door um the little trap door that opens up sand got in there um i try not to let sand into the actual you know like charging port area um but it, yeah the sand does kind of like get everywhere so it's the only thing uh, even if it's like you're in the water you know like sand is floating around it's gonna you know kind of like find its way into your camera so um but yeah, it hasn't affected the camera itself. It's just noticeable. Um, but yeah, other than that, yeah, super happy with this camera. Um, I've probably recorded, yeah, about a, th a thousand videos now. And uh, lots of pictures as well. Night photography, it does a really, really good job. Um, you just have to keep the camera super steady. Uh, that's why I use this little tripod. Um, I'll just, you know, try not to even touch the camera for a night, night photography shot, because it does count down and um, yeah, it gives you a little uh, countdown to show you that it's, you know, trying to capture a shot and uh, probably leaving the exposure open. Um, so it's good to keep the camera super stable during that. But other than that, um, yeah, it seems like, uh, you know, walking with this camera, 
I try to hold it in a certain way to reduce the up and down motion. Um, but probably some of that still comes across on camera. But overall, um, it's a lot better than doing it with like my phone, which doesn't have you know the capability of removing all that vibration during the edit uh, during the video recording. So um, yeah, I'm yeah just happy to have this little camera, and um, it it really is like you know all I could need to uh, to start recording you know trips like this, and um, yeah recommend a GoPro if you're, you know, looking into getting a camera to record video and, but not spend thousands of dollars. <laughs> uh, GoPro is a good choice. So, and it, the newer ones give you tons of options to, you know, customize, uh, exactly how you want the video to look. And, uh, yeah, it lets you, you know, like any little detail about recording the video, you can really take a deep dive and change all the settings. And, um, yeah, even with the photo too. So, yeah good it's a good choice check them out